Hello. Now we will see how to find out first and follow of the given grammar. Now we will consider these three uh, grammar and for this we are going to find out first and follow which are needed in uh, top down as well as bottom up parcel. Okay, so uh, there are uh, algorithm for uh, finding out first and um, algorithm for uh, find out the follow. Uh, so, in this example, there are three examples we have taken. So, so that all rules will be, uh, we can uh, understand properly. Okay. So, first example. This is first example. First, uh -huh, first means what? Let us consider these are S, B, C. These are the variables. And the small b, a and c, all these and d, these are the terminals. So, this is a grammar which are having, these are the productions. These are the variables. This is our starting symbol. So, V, T, P, S. Four tuples of the grammars. Okay. So, we will start with first S. So, we will find out the S. Okay. Now, S is a starting symbol. So, S is a starting symbol. Okay. So, for this we will find out the uh, first. So, S S is having uh, B, B, B and then C, D, these two, these two production. So, we will take first of this B, B. So, first of B, B is B is a variable or non-terminal. So, it will give A, capital, uh, small letter A. Okay. If I put this B as a epsilon, then I will get this small letter B. Okay. So, first of S is A. For this B and B, if I put B as a epsilon for this production. Now, we will consider this uh, production. So, for this capital C, using this capital C, we can get this small letter C. And if I put C as a epsilon, then we will get this D also. So, first of S is A, B, C, D. Now, we will find first of B. Okay. So, B is giving small letter A, B. So, here directly we are getting A as a terminal and we are going to take epsilon in first. Okay. So, epsilon is giving. So, directly A comma epsilon. Now, we will find for C. C is giving C and epsilon. Okay. C and epsilon. Now, we will find follow of this. So, S. Here for follow we will check where S means this uh, term variable is present. Right now in this production no uh, variable S present. So S tends to B, B and C, D. These are the production. But S is a starting symbol. So in follow of this S we will add dollar. Okay. Now we will find out B. Follow of B. Okay. Follow B. Now, B is present here in this production and the, in this production. Right now, for this production only we are um, finding B. So, we are not going to consider this. Okay. So, B is present here. So, who is following B? Small letter B. So, we will add this B. Now, only here. So, follow B is small letter B. Now, we will find out C. For C. Now, C is present in this production as well as in this production. So, for this we are not going to consider. So, who is following capital C? This small d. So, d will be in follow of C. So, in this way we can find out the first and follow for this example. Now, one more example is there. In this grammar, there are some now five variables and some terminals. So, A, B, C, D, these are the terminals. So, again we will find out the First and follow for this example. So, we will start with S. S is a starting symbol. Okay. So, A, B, C, D, E. So, S is giving A, B, C, D, E. So, A is giving small a epsilon. So, we will take A as a terminal. Okay. If I put A as a epsilon, then uh, next uh, variable will be B. So, B is giving B epsilon. So, we will add B in this first list of S. Then if I put A and B both as a epsilon, then here we will get a C. Actually, this is not a epsilon. Okay, only C, C is there. So, C, so we will get a C. Okay, C. 
so what will be c c is not uh, epsilon so a b c okay a b c these will be uh, in first of s now we will find out first of a first of a is a epsilon then for b first of b is b epsilon directly we are getting for c only c there there won't be epsilon and for d d and epsilon in this way we are getting follow uh, first of this grammar now we will find out the follow of this grammar now s s tends to a b c d e okay so a b c d where is s present in this grammar nowhere so only dollar symbol will be there okay only dollar symbol because it is a starting uh, starting symbol of the grammar so s will have this dollar now we will find follow of a follow of a now a is present here in this rule so a is present who is following a b b is following okay so we'll take first of b so first of b is small b okay here we are not going to take epsilon in follow okay so b we'll take b if i put b as a epsilon then i will get c then what is the first of c that is a small c okay so follow of a is small b c now next follow of b again where is b present here in this rule so who is following b c so c take the first of c so first of c is small c okay so only c will be there hmm? now next is first of uh, follow of c so here c is present who is following d is following so take first of d so first of d is d okay one more rule is there actually uh, e e tends to e and epsilon which is missing over here so we'll write so d uh, e and epsilon okay e and epsilon in first now c c is um, having d as a follow so we took d in first of c then if i put d as a epsilon then i am getting e then e is having first e so we'll add that e also here yeah, okay so if i put d and e both as a epsilon then c will be last variable of this grammar means this la if i put d and e as a epsilon then c will be last variable if it is a last variable of this rule then we are going to add whatever is present in the follow of s so what uh, what is present in follow of s dollar so we will add this dollar also in c so same way we will find for d okay so d who is following e is following so take first of e first of e is e okay if i put e as a epsilon then d will become last symbol of this one so take first of s so first of s is nothing but dollar okay now next is find out the follow of e so follow of e now e is a last symbol no one is following e so e is the last a uh, variable so we'll take dollar in follow of e so in this way we will get follow for this grammar rule okay same way we will find out the grammar for this example okay now this is a arithmetic expression so we will find out the first of e okay first of e now first of e is given t e dash so t t is a variable so t is giving f f is giving id and this bracket so first of e is id comma this bracket okay now e dash we will find out e dash e dash who is there terminal as a plus so plus will directly take plus and epsilon okay first of e dash is plus and epsilon now first of t first of t is f f is a variable so f is giving id and bracket so id and bracket okay t now for t dash we will find out the t dash 
So T dash is giving star and epsilon. Directly we can add this star and epsilon. Now next is F. So F is giving ID and bracket. So in this way we will get first of this grammar. This grammar. Now we will find out the follow of this grammar. Now we will take first E. Now find out where is E present. Capital E. In this grammar where is E present here. At this position. So who, who is following this capital E? This bracket. So this bracket we will add. First it is a starting symbol. So dollar. Okay. This is a dollar. And who is following this capital E? This bracket. So follow of we, E will be dollar and this bracket. Now E dash. For E dash. E dash. Where is E dash present? In this grammar as well as in this grammar. So we are not going to consider this grammar because for this only we are going to find out. So T E dash. So E dash no one is following E dash but this is the end of the this rule. So whatever is present in E, whatever is present follow of E we will add in E dash. So dollar and bracket. Okay. Now next is T. T. So T is here. So who is following for this? T is only in this grammar as well as in this grammar. So who is following T? E dash. So E dash. Take first of E dash. So first of E dash is plus and epsilon. So we will take only plus not epsilon. Okay. Plus. But E dash is giving epsilon. So if I put E dash is the epsilon then this T will become last variable of this rule. So whatever is present in E we will add this in T. Okay. Now next T dash. T dash. T dash is present here and here. So we are not going to uh, consider this one. So F T dash. So F T dash. T dash is a last variable of this rule. So whatever is present in T we will add in T dash. So plus dollar and bracket. <laughs> Now next is F. Next is F. So F is present here and here. Okay. F here and here. In both rule T dash is following. So first of T dash is star. So we will take star. If I put T dash as a epsilon. Because T dash is giving epsilon. See so if I put T dash as epsilon. So F will become last symbol of this rule. So T whatever is present in T and T dash. That we will add in the follow of F. Okay. So in this way we can find out the first and follow of this grammar. So these are the example. If you like this video please click on like button. And also uh, you can comment and subscribe my channel. Thank you.